Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here in the back of our 2017 Chevy Traverse. So guys, if you're looking for a very nice little hanging style rack, this guy is always my go-to. It's got that quintessential bike rack look, and of course, there's a reason people keep coming back to Thule and keep relying them on their hanging style racks, as they are very durable, and they just do a great job of transporting your bike. So, I think uh, I think the brand speaks for itself of how well this guy actually is going to be holding up for the years to come. To make sure you get your bikes to where you want to go. Now you're going to have a 35 pound weight capacity per bike on here, which is going to be excellent for yourself to make sure you can go ahead and transport all of your bikes you want to that trailhead. Um, now I will say with it though, you are getting four bikes up on here. So keep in mind, you are going to have a hanging style rack here. So what that means is as you get more bikes up on here, you're going to have a little bit more swag, a little bit more interaction with each other. So Keep in mind, that always kind of happens, but we do have a nice little anti-sway cradle here. Now these guys do a great little job. Now they're not going to completely eliminate the sway. It's something that's going to be there. But as you can see, that brings it right back in line relatively quickly, right? And it's not allowing it to shift all the way out. So we're reducing the movement and bringing it back in line to hopefully reduce the contact that our bikes are going to have. Now, there's a couple other ways you can kind of combat that. First one, pick yourself up a cam buckle system to go ahead and secure all of your bikes together. Make them one big glob. That way, if you do have movement, it's moving together and they're not going to be just kind of hitting here and left and right. Um, the one thing with that though, it is one more thing to kind of purchase and get on there. Personally, I think this guy is still going to do an excellent job. Um, if you're really, really worried about it though, um, I highly recommend maybe looking at the Hollywood Racks um, Roadrunner. It gives you a nice little support bar at the bottom to go ahead and secure your bikes. That way they have a nice little tether point. But that is going to kind of add a little bit more other clearance issues. So maybe you take a, take a look at one of those videos to kind of weigh the options for yourself. But if that kind of context, not something you're super worried about, or you're like, man, that Nansa Sway looks like it does a great job, which it does, this is going to be excellent to go ahead and start getting your bikes to your destination. So take a closer look here at the cradles and how they work. We have a nice thick rubber system here, strap system to go ahead and secure our frames onto here. Now the cradle itself, you can see has these nice little grooves on the inside. That's going to be perfect to go ahead and let those brake lines or any other kind of cables you have running on your bike to go ahead and wedge themselves in there. That way when we're securing our frame, we're not having that constant rub, that constant friction that can end up um, hurting those cables and then secondly just making your bike not look so good. So I really like those grooves and how we can dip them down. Of course holding on that strip becomes really easy. All you have to do, kind of pull it like that and a latch right onto that knob. Makes it really easy to go ahead and secure your bike on here in no time. You've already kind of broken down that anti-sway as well and that works the exact same way with that strap system. The only thing you can do though, go ahead and tap it up to the middle and that's going to make your dismount that much easier for yourself. Now one thing you do have to watch out for though here, we do have frame contact, right? Because we're holding onto that frame. So that means if you do have a carbon frame bike, probably not going to be the solution for you as those carbon frames can end up warping and deteriorating as they have that constant frame pressure. Other things to look out for too, if you do have any women's bikes, step through bikes or kids bikes, you might have a hard time getting a nice horizontal purchase to actually utilize these arms. So highly recommend if you do think your bike has a little irregularity in that horizontal frame, picking up yourself a bike adapter bar. That's going to be excellent to go ahead and get those bikes under control. They simply just go underneath your seat towards that handlebar, give you a nice horizontal contact to go ahead and actually get them appropriately spaced and placed on the back of your vehicle here. Well, to go ahead and get it off doesn't take too much time. I'm just going to pull down on that strip. That's going to go ahead and expose it. One thing I really like about that rubber strip, it feels really thick. It feels like it's going to be holding up even if it's sitting in the sun for a long time, it's not going to be fading and cracking anytime soon, which is great. But now that we're released, I can just simply support my bike and walk it off my carrier. And of course, watching those cradles can be a huge thing. Getting that anti-sway tucked up back into position can be huge of just making your mount and dismount that much easier for yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and bring these guys in to make them look a little more pretty. Get them out of the way, of course. Now, a couple things you need to look out for with any kind of hitch mounted accessory is the length that we're going to be adding to our vehicle. Now, one thing that's really nice about the hanging style racks, we don't really have to worry about clearance too much. We're going to go ahead and give you guys this guy right here, but since it's so close to the axle, usually you don't have any kind of issues with that running and making contact with the ground. So the big thing we're going to be looking at, how much length we're actually adding here today on the back of the Traverse. So let me go ahead and try to balance this tape measure here for myself. That's going to be putting us 
right at 35 and one quarter inches to the back of our vehicle there. That's going to be nice because we're not adding too much length. We do have four bikes being hanging on here and we're still well within 40 inches in the back of your vehicle. Love to see that, how we're staying nice and tight. And we do have a way of actually going ahead and bringing that closer to our vehicle. We have a spring clip right here. All we have to do, pop that guy just like so walk that pin out and then if I just bring my arms down I'm gonna go ahead and align this pin just like so and there we go go ahead and replace that spring clip and there I'm nice and secure one thing I really like about the hitching post pro no movement here it's nice and solid you're not gonna be hearing it you're not gonna be feeling it as you drive excellent little position here it just stays nice and solid which is great you're not gonna have the annoyance constantly driving you crazy on the back end it's gonna stay nice and tight there and then we're not worried about it swinging out or and of course gonna be nice and secure and of course you guys can see how much space here you have on the back end gonna be no trouble at all well, let's go ahead and see how much space we shaved down with that maneuver from the back of the vehicle now to the very end is putting you right at 15 and a half inches there guys so a lot of that space being saved shaved down now we can go ahead, hopefully, pull this in the garage, or at the very least, give ourselves a lot more maneuverability. Now, one thing that kind of is the only caveat I'd say that kind of puts this below maybe your um, more premium tray style or platform style carriers, you actually can't tilt this away while your bikes are on here. So if you want access to your cargo, you're going to have to go ahead and remove them all and then take full advantage of the hitching post tilt away feature. To do that, once again, one more spring clip system. One thing I like about those guys as well, you have these little safety cables. That allows me to be pretty hands-free with it. Don't have to forget where I put that clip. Spend five minutes trying to find it. I know it's gonna be right there for me. And then I go ahead and just pop over my back hatch here. That's gonna allow me to have access to my coolers, bike helmets, anything I might need on the inside. Um, again, maybe you're not bringing your bikes around town all the time, but you have the carrier on there. Still gonna be great for groceries, anything like that. Quick stops at the gas station. Again, kind of a bummer you can't do it on the go with your bikes on there. But again, uh, you're definitely gonna have to uh, Kind of look upwards for that kind of action. Definitely is more of a premium feature on those platform style carriers. Now with that quickly replaced, we can go ahead and take a closer look here at the bottom. You guys are seeing we have a little U-bolt here on the back end. That becomes excellent to go ahead, like we said, tie in those cam buckle systems, or you could go ahead and grab yourself a safety cable. You guys probably have noticed we don't have any kind of innate security device on the Hitching Post Pro. That's definitely something that can become very, very important, especially if you find yourself on those long car rides, road trips, that kind of th those kind of natures. Uh, Maybe if you're just going out for the weekend, it's probably not going to be the end of the world to go ahead and risk it as you probably have a lot of eyes to kind of watch it. But if it's something you're really worried about, get some nice bikes you want to go ahead and protect, highly recommend taking a look at eTrailer.com for some security options for yourself. Moving our way down, though, let's go ahead and take a look right here at our clearance. It's not going to be something I'm at all worried about. And right at 16 and a half inches there, definitely plenty of space for our vehicle. We're sitting really, really close to that rear axle. So it's not something I'm too worried about. But just keep in mind, if you have very steep inclines ahead of you, or if you're doing a little off-roading the Traverse, just to be a little careful with it. Moving our way to the inside, though, you can see we do have our inch and a quarter shank here naturally. However, we do have a two-inch converter allowing us to utilize our two-inch hitch here today. That becomes really nice because if you do have a smaller um, hitch in the vehicle or in the family on a different vehicle, you can go ahead and still utilize this guy in that position. But that's going to go ahead and allow us to use that two-inch hitch, of course. And on the inside, you are seeing a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt right here. Now, those guys are very standard across the industry, but you still love to see them. As I give this guy a shake, you're going to see the vehicle move in tandem with our bike rack that means we're all in line with one system making for a nicer smooth ride for ourselves our bike rack and especially our bikes and on hanging style that's a huge thing anything you can go anything you can do to cut down that road shake is really going to go a long way in keeping your bikes in a, a nice working order of course and of course just to be worried about that paint now the one thing i will say though there is no security measure with that hitch bolt again so if anybody has a ratchet they can go ahead and just walk off with your carrier now that's something that you really want to avoid highly recommend taking a look at the Thule um, snug tight, sorry guys, uh, locking cores that they actually have. You scroll on the bottom there on the page, you're going to go ahead and see in the related parts and also in the product description, that gives you a nice little hitch lock that's going to go ahead and secure your carrier to your vehicle. And ultimately, it's definitely something I think is a must if you want to go ahead and protect your carrier and make sure it stays on your vehicle when you leave it unattended. 
Well, overall, I think that's the only thing that kind of stinks about the Thule Hitching Post Pro. I think everything else is amazing about it, other than we're probably gonna have to go ahead and grab ourselves another little security measure to go ahead and secure our bikes. But in my mind, you're still getting a great little carrier. It's tested and true, and there's a reason people keep coming back to it. It's definitely gonna treat you and your bikes well and get you where you wanna go. The other things to look out for here though, guys, our backup camera is gonna be kind of right in line here with our carrier. So you are gonna have maybe a little bit of room here on the sides to see, but a lot of that is gonna be impacted. And especially as you get four bikes up on here, you're really gonna lose a lot of that backup camera. It's something that happens with a lot of carriers out there. It's kind of hard to avoid. Maybe looking at a two bike system is gonna be a little bit better if that's something you're really worried about. But then again, you're losing, your, you're losing that carrying capacity. So things we have to kind of weigh. Of course, the hanging style, nice that we're not impacting those rear lights as well. And I love how we have this entire entirety of our back window to go ahead and see everything we need to see. Well, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here on the back of our 2017 Chevy Traverse. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.